Well, good morning. So I've come this morning to um, shoot the Harringworth Viaduct, which is in the background there. I've not made it down there yet, but I'm just driving down this hill towards the viaduct. You can see it up on this vantage point here. And I'm about 20 minutes after sunrise and it was just casting some really nice light down on there. So I just thought I'd quickly stop here and grab a shot from this vantage point before I went down. So yeah, I'm in um, it, just on the border between Rutland and Leicestershire. And as I say, that down there is the village of Harringworth. And this is the Welland Valley and uh, it's called the Welland Vi Viaduct is another name for it. And actually yesterday morning, there was a, I don't know the name of it, but there was a really big steam train went over the back of it. So there was quite a lot of photographers down there yesterday morning, but um, it reminded me that I hadn't been for a while. So I thought I'd come down this morning and see if I can get some shots of it. Um, looks as though it's quite a nice morning in terms of cloud cover. There's some nice wispy cloud going across. It's a bit stormy over in the background there. So you never know, it might get me some nice light. So just taking a couple here with the uh, telephoto on. Uh, F8, just focus directly into the viaduct using a few of these trees. Uh, there's some nice sort of tractor marks in, these, uh, in this crop here, leading you down towards the, uh, the viaduct. And as I say, with a bit of nice light on the side of it. So yeah, grab that to start. So I'm gonna get in the car and head down and I'll see you down there. Just hike my way across this. Is that a camera on the honk? It's better. <laughs> so I've just hiked my way across this really muddy uh, floodplain here. I think this is the floodplain. I think this does flood, and by the looks of it, it looks as though it's flooded quite recently. It's really wet and muddy. And I've come quite close here to the viaduct and the sun is obviously coming up now. And what I've done with this shot is I've got the 16 to 35, I'll just go a bit wider. And I'm using the sun in the background to silhouette the, um, the viaduct and the arches. And there's a, there's a church in Hangworth village there just underneath one of the arches. And I might even go black and white and be a really high contrast black and white shot. Um, so I've taken two or three of those there and just a bit of a time lapse in this area but it is really wet and muddy. I think what I'll probably do is head back towards the arch and get some closer so you can get more of the scale of the arch as well. Um, and I might because I've spotted some nice coloured, let's call them reeds or grasses or whatever that are quite close. I might even get my foreground interest shot in because some of those look quite nice and I could use those as nice foreground interest leading up to the arch. So you never know, I might get that in in this vlog. I failed on the last one.
So these are those grasses I was talking about. And for the first shot, I've, I've brought the tripod down quite low and I've got the grasses in the foreground <coughs> leading up to the viaduct and I'm trying to get the viaduct just to disappear in the distance. There's a little um, stone building underneath one of the arches here and I'm using that as <coughs> some interest on the left hand side. Focus down here on the, uh, the grasses and as you'll be able to see there's a lot of direct light now coming through the arches and it's creating a bit of a problem with dynamic range so I've bracketed that shot uh, two stops under one stop and two stops over so I can bring those back into uh, into post yeah it's now blue sky it's a bit of a shame actually because it was really nice clouds earlier on that were coming across the top but they've disappeared so it is very harsh blue sky now um, never mind so that's that one now I think I'm going to use that building um, frame that building in the arch and try and get some of this grasses and see if I can do that um, that foreground interest shot so I'm looking over there should be looking here um, yeah try and do that foreground interest shot so here's this one and then I'll try and get that other one in a second Well, I've tried and failed to get foreground interest using these grasses. I just can't do it. I just don't see anything in a shot that I like. So, as Dave Griffiths said on my last video, foreground interest is so overrated anyway, so why bother? So what I've done, because I, I do quite like this little building in the arch, so what I've done is just use the light here. Again, this will be a high contrast black and white, I would think, because I've got the light coming through here strong dynamic range very dark this side of the viaduct very light the other side so struggling with that so i thought well why not use it and i'll probably turn this black and white and then just use the light coming through and there's a bit of light on the right hand side of the little building there so i've just done a few of those <sighs> it's just a shame about the blue sky really uh, i would have liked a bit more cloud because i think this the, the expanse of this viaduct um, would look good with you know a real dark dramatic sky behind it but never mind this side of the viaduct just to see what it was like this side because this side is where the the light is hitting it obviously and there's a big pool of water here um, it's left from when it was flooded clearly and because the lights on this side and this pool of water in front and there is a few clouds coming across now um, it's actually not a bad composition so I've actually got the 10 stop out um, just so I could use some of those clouds and there's a couple of exposures I've just taken where, where the clouds are in the top left hand corner and they sort of angle down from the left and it matches the angle of the uh, viaduct coming in from the top right. And I think it worked, I don't know, but I think it did. But it's not a bad composition, I think I like it because there's light on it um, and it's amazing how much difference it makes, it really lights it up and you can see the colours in the brickwork as well. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad composition. We'll, we'll have to see, but on the camera it looks all right. So you never know. It might not be too bad after all. So heading back to the car and just thought I'd turn around and have a final look before I went back and spotted this composition here and <laughs> I actually really like it. Um, the little um, building, because obviously you've got orange brick and on the left hand side uh, or, or going down um, to the left hand side of one of the arches you've got an orange strip of, uh, of cement dust going down and then in the 
water here in front, there's two patches of reeds that are sticking up, or grasses that are sticking up, and the tops of them are quite orange. And what I've done is simply framed this with the grasses at the front, which will be foreground interest. And then the, the little hut with the uh, orange bit down the right-hand side, and I'll probably square crop it. But it's, <laughs> I don't know, I, I really like it. I'll probably change your mind when I see it on the uh, big screen, but it's just one of those shots you think, yeah, that works, that really works. So I've taken that, and I've also done another one, a longer one, maybe four by three, and I've used some of the reeds right in the front here, sorry, not the reeds, the grass right in the front here that's just in the water. So that becomes my foreground interest, then the reeds in the middle become my mid-ground, and then the little hut at the back becomes the background. So that might work as well, so, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how things just, you just stumble across things. Well, I'll show you these, then I might head to the car, I might not, who knows. Well, I did change my mind when I saw it on the big screen. Not my best work, for sure, but I thought I'd share it anyway. Well, my YouTube analytics tells me that this is a point where you all switch off. Uh, so, if you are sticking around, thank you for watching, really appreciate it. This is Harringworth Viaduct, Wellingborough Viaduct. Um, few shots there, cloud's not the best, um, but yeah, it's been nice to get out this morning anyway. So next week's the photography show, fingers crossed it stays on with the coronavirus that's going around, but so far so good. So hopefully see quite a lot of you there. If you do see me there, then say hello. Um, be nice to meet some of the subscribers I've not met already, but I'm really looking forward to catching up with some of my buddies at the show. So that'll be good fun. Um, and then after that, we'll see where we are next. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you soon. Bye.